Hello. Today we're going to be looking at the real basics of tea, and that is, what do the colours mean? You hear about black tea or green tea, what does it actually mean? Is white tea tea with milk, or is it something else? So I've assembled a few basics here, just to have a bit of a look through. And the first thing we're going to have a look at is green tea. Now, this is a green tea, this is a China jasmine green tea. Just going to put a little bit in a cup here, add a bit of water. And a green tea is a tea that has not been fermented, uh, it's basically been picked and then uh, dried but held in that state. So there's no fermentation, no oxidisation. We'll leave that to sit for a moment. And I'm going to move on to a white tea. Now, this white tea, which is Pai Mu Dan, is a Chinese white tea. You notice it's uh, bigger, uh, it's the very top two leaves and a bud of the tea plant. It's a very, very fine tea in the same category as a green. It is uh, wilted, uh, but not oxidised, and it is dried and ready to go. Now, over here I have a black tea, and this is an Assam tea, so grown in India, and it is what the Western world calls tea. Really, black tea, and I'll add a bit of water to that, and that is uh, a relative, of the stuff you find in tea bags, though a superior one, and it is the sort of tea that uh, the Western world really has taken to. Now, in China, they don't use the phrase black tea for this kind of tea. The literal translation is red tea, and uh, that's quite interesting because red tea also sometimes means something else, and that is this product here. This is called a Rooibosch, and it is from South Africa and it is not a tea at all, but it is so universally called red tea that I thought I would include that to uh, explain the difference. So I'll add some water to that one too. But now we'll go back and have a bit of a look through. Now a lot of people talk about health benefits. All tea has antioxidants, all tea has caffeine. Uh, there's various myths and rumours about green having more or red having more or whatever. They're all pretty well the same. The key is that it's the amount that comes out into the liquid, not the amount that's actually in the leaves. So why some people, for example, will say that tea has more caffeine than coffee. Uh, gram for gram, that's true. Uh, however, you use two grams of tea in a cup of tea and eight grams of coffee in a cup of coffee. So it's a very simple equation. Right, here we have our green tea. It has a distinctly green look, but quite pale. We have our white tea, which is very, very pale. Very pale, just looks like a, a shimmery version of water. We have our black tea, which, as the Chinese have noted, is quite red. And we have our red tea, our rooibosh. So that's a quick run through of the colours. And I look forward to seeing you next time.